several years ago. I was a high school track star. <laughs> yes, this was a lead fighting machine. <laughs> I ran the 100 meters and my coach at one time, I was comfortable with the 100 meters, put me on the 200 meters. And I said, okay, I'll try. I was a little strained. It was a little difficult, but it was doable. Then. One day, he handed me the paperwork for the 400 meters. I said, what? I, I can't do that. I'm, I'm not a long distance runner. I'm, I'm sorry. I, he said, you can do it. Because 400 was a long distance for me. It was not two miles, but 400 was a long distance. And I was built for speed. And he said, go ahead and run the race. I entered the race. The fire, firing, the sergeant pistol went off. And while I was out of the track, down the track came, out, came Andre Romeo. And then I looked around. Nobody was behind me. They were all back there. I said, what's wrong? Was I doing something wrong? I'm not supposed to run fast in a 400 meters, and I'm supposed to slow my pace down save my energy for the end of the race. See, back then, that was the way it was run. So I slowed down. Big mistake. Because they came rolling past me at about 300 meters, and I couldn't get back up to speed. I lost the race. I chose to sit back in mediocrity on the other side of the line. Sometimes we listen to that voice with our clubs. Become a DTM? What are you thinking? <laughs> Get an AC? What are you thinking? Become an area government? What were you thinking? <laughs> and before you know it, we never meet our performance. Because this is really not for the club. It's really for you, for your own development, your own achievement. I came into Toastmasters in 2005, November 2005. Eddie Murdoch encouraged me to join. I started working on, on my CC. He said, I would, after I finished my CC, so when are you going to get to your DTM? DTM? No, no. I'm, I'm not going to do that. That's for y'all who are into Toastmasters and <laughs> spend your lives and have nothing to do on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> and never would I do that. Entering contests. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, that's for people who have that endurance. And then I went into a contest and gave a speech about the fly on the wall. <laughs> then somebody else came up to me after I got my DTM and said to me, when you are considering district governor service, let me know and I'll be willing to help you. 
And I said, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I can't do that. I was setting up all these lines that I could not cross. And I was giving all these walls. Richard Cummins was the person who told me about district service. <laughs> Pamela McCowan was the one who told me about serving as an area governor and working on <coughs> These people come into our lives for a purpose and a reason, to help us to grow. November 2005 to now, never would it have crossed my mind to be a district governor for a district like District 56. Never in my wildest dreams. Now, it's up to you and your club to cross the line. What does crossing the line mean? Getting your goals accomplished that you set up for the year. If you haven't set up one, then do it today. Set up a goal that you will cross a line by a certain time and begin to cross that line. Gentlemen, listen to this. Ladies, if there's that new pair of shoes across town, <laughs> let me see the hands of those who would cross the line to get those new pair of pumps across town. Good. Now, ladies, listen to this. Gentlemen, if there is new set of new truck that you really need to have <laughs> or a new big screen TV for watching the game or game season passes for the Texans maybe would you drive all the way across town and line up to get that new truck, that new set of wheels, that new technology, would you line up? Would you cross the line for that? <laughs> the line. <laughs> we cross lines every day. So it's easy for us to say, I've crossed the line so I can cross this line also. I encourage you, please, do move from settling for average to above average. We're doing it in this district. We are at 67 clubs with five or more DCP goals. Means that they can be distinguished 67 clubs right now are at that point. It took planning, but it took also crossing the line. I'm going to ask you to stand where you are. Step out of your chair, stand where you are, just for one small exercise. Step back, but those in the in the back chairs, uh, step back just a point because you're gonna make one step. Okay. So step back, make one step back. Hold the hands of the person next to you. Let's all join together. One step. Cross the line. 